Well, you know, I want to talk more about the Pope's call for wealth redistribution uh, uh, and, and about all those people who really, a lot of people worked very hard. That's what capitalism is about, pulling yourself up by the bootstraps. And the bigger question, again, it remains, uh, where should their wealth be leveled off? How much should be taken away from them? It's a central Correct. question, by the way, with the election of 2016. Uh, we've got Ryan Blair, he's the CEO of Vysalis, also Craig Smith, chairman of Swiss America Trading Corporation. Both these guys, by the way, started with nothing. They've worked hard. They had determination. They went through all of the pitfalls, and now they're both very, very successful. Ryan, I'll start with you because you were completely on yeah. the wrong side of the tracks, and now you've changed your life. Yeah. <laughs> how much do you owe society, and how much does society maybe owe itself to do what it did, what you did? Well, you know, I'm a capitalist. I love the Pope. I think he's doing a great job. Uh, that's a nonprofit. Uh, he needs to stay out of the for-profit models that we're in. I got to tell you, I went from being a taxpayer liability as a child, meaning the government paid for me. And now as uh, a successful entrepreneur, I paid over 90 million in taxes at Vysalis. I've created thousands of jobs. I've given to a lot of charity. And the only way that happens is by stimulating entrepreneurship. And what we owe that credit to is capitalism itself. Uh, Craig Smith, can you weigh in? Ryan just said it all. You could, couldn't have, I could, couldn't do it any better. I mean, I started my company with $50, as you know, Charles. We've done billions of dollars in business paid. I, I, I was trying to calculate real quick how many million, millions of dollars we paid when he, he came up with that statistic. But with the Pope, and, I, and I'm kind of, it's very unique what Father Manning said, because the Pope... I don't think it's talking about people being introspective. I think he's taking a shot at capitalism, believing that we should redistribute wealth. Yeah. And you know, Charles, that the greatest engine in the history of the world of pulling people out of poverty, which means they can feed themselves, you don't have to feed them, is, ca is capitalism. We have cut the extreme poverty rate in half since 1990 as a direct result of capitalism. And if we should have had Xi right. and the Pope get together because so, the pres I, President go, Xi would have told him he got seven. Let me go back to Father Manning on that. Father Manning, taking aside the other parts about the material with the individual because I get where you're coming from with respect to that. It does feel like the Pope is taking a, sh taking a shot rather at capitalism, particularly American style capitalism, over and over again. And, 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 the, the, and, the, and his feeling is that it's unfair. And, I, and this is where we grapple with here in this country because we feel like it's an amazing system where anybody can improve their lives. And by the way, it has brought so many people out of poverty. Why does the Pope have such an aversion to this form of capitalism? Well, I'm not sure that he's opposed to anybody who's able to gain a great deal of money similar to what these men have just said, and then being able to use that money as a means of helping the poor. It's, it's that, that urge, that push, that direction that I think is the heart of what, what Jesus would, add, would ask. He's not against a, a person being rich and being able to have a great deal of success and then being able, and this is important, being able to be very perspective and, and looking around at the world and saying, now, how can I allow this right. gift that I've received? And it's, and again, it's yeah. uh, in, in a Christian perspective, it's not just, hey, I worked hard and I did this. I think in many ways that each of the gentlemen will have to say, it's a gift from God that's allowed you to be able to gain that. Yeah. Now, given that Absolutely. gift, what yeah. can I do to I, be I, able to I, help I think others? we all know that we have been blessed. I think everyone on this show probably would agree with that. But also, by the same token, everyone took extraordinary risk risk and put a certain amount of effort into it. And this is where we come into a problem in this country where the haves and have nuts maybe have a problem because certainly if you've worked hard and someone didn't work hard, what are you obligated, particularly a corporation, to do for them?